wanted to tell you about a really cool resource called Spark. Um, it's spark.adobe.com. It is from the folks over at um, Adobe. They're the ones that make Photoshop and the other Adobe products. And what they have is a, a series of templates and a little engine that allow you to easily make these, these pictures. Um, you're able to choose a picture or upload a picture um, that you have, and they have a library that kind of goes out to the net and finds a whole bunch of stock photography that people have licensed into Creative Commons for use for things like that. Um, so they, they tap into that resource, and with it, you're able to put together a piece of art, basically, that you can post. Let me see. I want to try to make one for you guys real quick here. BibleGateway.com. And I'm going to look up John 3.16. So we're going to find John 3.16, and I'm going to copy this text. Okay? Now, I'm going to go over to Adobe Spark, and I'm going to click on the plus sign. And I'm going to make a post. And then it's going to ask me to type in what I want. Now, I could type anything in here. I could type in some pithy quote or what have you. In this case, I'm going to paste in John 3.16, and then I'm going to type in John 3.16. And I'm going to tell it what type I want to do. So which type of graphic size? It's got pre-done sizes optimized for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And, and there's a whole lot more, by the way, guys. Uh, so hit continue. All right, so it came up with a picture already for me. And it's also got some uh, other suggested uh, type filter styles that, that you could use. So let's just take a look at this one. And we're going to choose the background. And I'm going to replace it. If you have a, a Creative Cloud membership like I do, where you get like access to all the Adobe products, um, you can use, you know, if you're using Adobe Lightroom and you've got your Lightroom libraries and you've got them shared through Creative Cloud, you can then come in here and say, uh, you know, pull from my Light, Lightroom library or through the uh, files that I've shared through Creative Cloud or Dropbox or Google Photos or whatever. Um, in our case, we're just going to do a find photo and I'm going to do uh, search for Earth. And let's see what we got here. Now, actually, it ain't earth, but it sure is pretty. So there we go. So I've chosen that one. Now, I don't like that font color, so let's change the font color. Uh, that. Maybe that. And I can make a, an adjustment how I want it done. Move it over here. Uh, let's see. Roll through some style suggestions. Look at that. That looks cool. All right, let's say that's it. We're done. Uh, do I want to filter it a little bit? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're going to go with. Um, and then at that point, we hit share. And it's going to save it. We can put in whatever we want. We can share it publicly, or we could simply download it. And that's what I like to do. I like to download it and then... Uh, turn around and upload it to Facebook or Instagram or what have you. On iOS devices, there is uh, an app that is really easy to use. So you can do it straight from your phone. You can do it from your tablet. Um, if you are on Android, uh, last time I checked, they had not released an Android app yet for Spark. However, you can go to the website and do it all from there. So if you have an Android tablet uh, or an Android phone, you can do it from there. Anyway, it's really cool. That's Adobe Spark. Spark.adobe.com. There's a link below. That is your tip, your tool, tool of the week. That's what we'll call it.